people were starting week eight with a trivia question. From what movie is the phrase, back to work, back to work? Hint, it's from the 80s. Anyway, uh, what's up, people? Uh, finished up my end of cycle one, two weeks of taper and test, and now it's back to the mega volume, lots of squats, lots of benches, etc., etc. Um, first thing uh, to cover is we've got a couple changes uh, in cycle two as compared to cycle one. Uh, first off, we're starting this first week of cycle two with 16 total reps on the main work sets. So a set of four followed by sets of three, uh, four sets of three. And we'll be pushing that up towards five sets of four as we move towards 20 total reps. Uh, one thing I forgot, uh, Saturday I'm supposed to pause these benches. Um, but I did remember that I'm going to do two reps <laughs> on my daily max benches. So at least I got that right. Uh, next week, we'll get back to pausing <laughs> all the reps on Saturday benches. Uh, and the other main uh, change that's coming up for cycle two is I'm adding two days a week of heavier deadlifts, uh, some heavier deadlift reps. Uh, as you can see here, I got 300 listed as the max for my conventional deads. And that's actually going to be for two sets of two. Uh, main purpose is just to be used to handling something a little heavier uh, because actually I did pretty well with my uh, test deadlifts over the past couple weeks and that was without handling anything over 200 pounds uh, the entire uh, cycle one as I recall so now I'm hoping that handling something a little heavier uh, on a somewhat regular basis like twice a week uh, will pay excellent dividends both in the grip and with uh, just being used to handling heavy deadlifts. Uh, main thing I want to discuss uh, this week is actually uh, supersets. Um, Last year, uh, when I had my crazy week of work right before I departed for the long vacation, uh, you know, when I have no time available, uh, in order to get anything of substance done, uh, I had to superset things. And I actually have continued that. I was doing it all through cycle one. And what I can say is it's the greatest um, for multiple reasons. One, time efficiency. I mean, I'm getting done with workouts in like an hour 15, hour and a half, where like, for example, Sunday workouts uh, during last year, uh, could sometimes run two hours plus uh, and so that's really awesome and the basic setup is pretty much when I'm warming up on squats in between warm-up sets I'm doing my chin-ups uh, when I'm warming up on bench uh, in between warm-up sets I'm doing deadlifts and when I'm warming up on uh, OHP uh, I'm normally doing my abdominal work so then after OHP all I really have left is my cardio and bada bing bada boom we're done and not only is the time efficiency good just because you get done faster, uh, sometimes I get distracted in the morning by shiny objects <laughs> such as chess games. And next thing I know, I'm starting late, uh, but that's really not an issue because even though uh, I'm starting late, I, I can still get done at a reasonable time and get my butt into work. But obviously, I would not be doing that if I had noticed any problems with uh, strength loss. Uh, you know, I've had no problems with that thus far. Although you do notice um, you're huffing and puffing, you know, so definitely a uh, conditioning element is there, which I think is good, you know, because it seems to be uh, helping conditioning, if anything, right? So, um, you know, I recommend it. If you uh, are pressed for time, you got, you know, lots of other life responsibilities uh, and you can't get stuff done, try supersetting uh, and see how it works. Ah, one thing that slipped my mind was that uh, I told you guys I do a lot of lunges as a lot of my um, squat volume. Uh, that actually gets supersetted along with deadlifts uh, during the warm-up bench sets. And let me tell you, that's a bad combination. Do a set of deadlifts and then immediately do lunges. It's like terrible. But what's not terrible is hump day because hump day is just the greatest thing ever. Um, I figured since last time when I had my heaviest daily squat of 330 just basically flew up, I figured I'd just start with it uh, for cycle two. And once again, it basically just flew up. And I decided this week that it's probably about time for a brief physique update. So we're going to have that right at the end of Friday's footage. Uh, so about 10 seconds. And if you guys want to close your eyes in terror, you're free to do so. But anyway, uh, I think um, things are coming along pretty well, uh, considering the goals are to, you know, add muscle as much as possible, keep fat to a minimum. I think that's going pretty much as planned. Uh, but like, like I mentioned, uh, it's pretty much impossible to just gain all muscle and not gain any fat yeah and 190 on the incline press uh daily max uh i'm pretty sure by the end of this cycle uh be hitting something like 200 uh for a new uh record on the singles uh so that is going well especially since you know i think i hit um 195 for a double during test week so anyway moving on to the final workout of the week friday uh this felt really heavy although it looks 
fine on camera. <laughs> but uh, it's just one of those days where it's like, oh man, just gotta get through this. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna finish up the week with mother, 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 do deck and mother. Only mention it for one single because, like I said, Friday was just like, yeah. Mm -mm. But anyway, now we're gonna move on to the physique update. And as you guys can see, good lighting because uh, hey, why not? Uh, but shoulders definitely getting bigger. Uh, arms look bigger. Uh, still got some decent cuts, uh, but definitely putting on some weight on the waistline. And all my fellow dudes know, that ain't muscle. Anyway, uh, good week of volume. Uh, just getting back into the swing of things. Uh, getting you, you know, back into the high volume workload. And we'll, like usual, we'll be looking to push that up uh, as the weeks go on. And the 2017 goals update screen. Uh, basically just updating uh, the 11K chin-up challenge. Uh, we're currently at 1986. I think that was a good year, by the way. Uh, and the uh, chase for 7 million total pounds. We're currently at 1.14 million. And finally, the diet update screen. Uh, hit 150 on the dot this week, uh, so that's pretty good. Actually going to probably make an adjustment to um, my diet, which I will talk more about next week. Uh, but for that, people, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Bye.